All right, guys. So it is one twenty nine, and we are starting part two of this experiment. So this time, what we're going to do is use this fridge on the warmest setting. So for this, that's as far as it can go. This one goes all the way down to number one. So last experiment, we did the coldest setting. As you can tell, it is off. The no lights are on. No lights are on on this one either. It is one thirty. We got a little button hit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, get the screen on, there we go. Press the button on the back. See it kicked up to about 150, 160. And so it too says it will run for eight hours. So we're gonna see if there's really a difference between uh, the coldest setting and the warmest setting. Again, it is 130 now and we'll run it until it goes dead. Uh, the last experiment was throughout the night, so I didn't get a chance to like see how it ended, but I do have the times on that. It was right at eight hours or a little before, a little after eight hours. Like last experiment, like the experiment before, we do have a time lapse going. And so uh, the last time the time lapse kind of messed up twice. Again, once at the end where I didn't stop it, and then once kind of in the middle where the phone died. It was plugged up, but apparently it wasn't plugged up good enough. Um, but we've got the time lapse going. We do have the phone plugged up this time. Everything's going. Everything's rolling. So we're going to check in on it in like a couple of hours and we'll see where we're at. All right, guys. So we're about 20 minutes into the experiment. Um, one thing that I didn't notice the last time I ran this experiment was if the unit shut off, right? Not like if the fridge shut off. So we are, we still have light and both the Delta is on and the fridge is on, but right now nothing's happening. So that's a good thing, right? That's where you start saving your energy right now is at zero watts. Now I could easily say that this thing would run it for 99 hours, but obviously we know that's not true. But this is where you start saving that energy, right? And if I had a solar panel connected up to it, right, I would be regaining 100 watts per hour. Maybe it's, it's off like this for an hour, two hours. So I could put that energy back into it, at least during the daytime. Now during the nighttime, obviously not. But when it shuts off like it's done right now, once it, gets to, once it gets to temperature, it shuts off or it drops down, right? I've seen them as low as like 22, 23 watts on uh, like Capper Outdoors video. But I didn't know if, if this fridge did the same thing because last night when I was running the other experiment, the coldest setting, it never seemed to, to shut off. It just was there and it just stayed there. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how long that this will stay like it is and uh, you know how much time that might add so again we were figuring eight hours so what nine o'clock um, or 9 20 but if it stays this way for a while and it stays this way for a while every hour you know we could be pushing 11 12 hours so it's gonna be very inter interesting to see the difference between the coldest setting and the warmest setting All right, 4.30 update, three-hour update. 90%. So this one is doing a lot better than the uh, the coldest setting. So this is going to take a while. So 10% in three hours compared to like 30% in three hours. All right, now we wait. Oh, yeah. It's uh, 1 o'clock in the morning. 1.30 actually, or 1.20. So the 12 hour update, we started this test at 1.20 in the afternoon, and it is now 1.20 at night. So let's see where we're at. So the 12 hour update is we have 24% remaining, and right now the fridge is cycled on, so it's using 147 watts. And according to the EcoFlow, at 147 watts, we have one hour remaining. So that means we don't have a lot of juice left in this. Uh, however, once the fridge cycles off, this thing will keep going. So it says it has an hour left. Right now it's down to 23% instead of 24. It says it has an hour left, so at 220 it should shut off. I'm thinking it's still going to be up, right? Because this warmest setting has been very eco-friendly to say the least so 
We'll see how far it runs. So it is 3.30 in the morning, and we started this t test at 1.30 in the afternoon. So we are at 14 hours. The fridge just kicked off again. So it's also making noise. 8%. It says 37 minutes left. We're going to try to hit the 15 hour mark. We're going to see. Right? So for the next hour, we're going to check it basically every 10 minutes. Maybe every 20 minutes. And uh, we'll see if we can get 15 hours. I was going to hope for 16, but uh, I don't think so. We'll see. It is for. 31% remaining. I think after this one it's going to die. So that's 15 hours. Alright, so uh, you know, we'll, we'll discuss in next week's video kind of the results, both of this test and last week's test. And kind of compare the two and then just kind of see what might be the best option. Is this Delta? A good option is that where is it? There it is. Is this Delta a good option? Am I impressed by the test? Am I not impressed? You know, we'll, we'll discuss it um, again. 4:30. We started this test at 1:30 in the afternoon, so it went 12 hours, which was 1:30 in the morning, and now we're on an extra three hours, so 4:30. So pretty impressed by it, but again, next week's video will kind of combine everything and we will discuss the final results. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next week.